I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to composite a moon into a night photo. Now we had a recent super moon and you might have seen a lot of pictures online like this that show this gorgeous moon with this beautiful night landscape. But let me tell you, it was composited. It's impossible to photograph something like this with the moon and beautiful focus like this and also having the skyline properly exposed. Now that's because it takes completely different exposures to create these two different these elements in this picture. This skyline is completely different exposure to what you would need to create this moon picture. And let me show you what I mean by that. That same night I shot that, that skyline, I also shot this one, and this little blob here is the super moon. This was taken a few years ago. This skyline is properly exposed, but because it required more light to create this, it totally overexposed the moon, and it looks like a white blob. So what would people do is they actually take a picture separately, of the moon and look at how perfectly exposed this is and they composite it into their picture like this and that's how you get these gorgeous pictures and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's work with this photo. I took this while on vacation in British Columbia a few years ago. It was in the evening and I'm going to composite my moonshot. The one thing that's great about having a full moon, which is happening right now in October this month, is you want to get out and photograph it and try to get a beautiful exposure like this because then you can keep this in a file somewhere and whenever you take a night photo you can add a moon to it and it always awes everybody when they see those pictures. So let me show you how to do this. This is my moon picture and I'm going to go up and I need to find the magic wand tool. Now it's the let's see one two three it's the fourth tool down here what I'm seeing here let me right click on this this is the quick selection tool so if you see that up just right click on that and now you'll get another drop down menu and you'll want to click on your magic wand tool now what the magic wand tool it finds the same color so we want it to find all the black so I'm going to click in the black part and look at this, it perfectly outlined the moon. But we don't want this background selected, we want the moon selected. So go up to select, click on this, and click on inverse. And now just the moon is selected. Now it's possible that a little bit of the black will still be in this selection. So let's go up to select again, go down to modify, and go to contract. And this is going to pull in the selection by pixels. And I'm going to make it by two pixels and click OK. And you'll notice that it brought in that line just a tiny bit. Now I also want it to be a little feathered on the edge so it looks really natural. So go back to Select, back to Modify, and Feather. And I'm going to, let, let's do two again, click on that, OK. So now we're going to go up to where we see this up in our layer palette and with our left mouse click and while holding down we're going to drag it out of the palette. Now go up to our move tool, click on this and go here and just click with your left mouse and drag this while holding down into this picture. You don't need this anymore, so go ahead and X out of this. Now, because you're on your move tool, you can move your moon around. This is way too big, so let's click holding down on shift. That will keep this in the round perspective. You can make it smaller, and we can just move this around and see where we want it. And I actually really like it there. So then we're going to go ahead and apply it. Now, over here, you can go up here and go down slightly on your opacity. I, I kind of like to go take the opacity down right here. It's about 86% and I really like that. But isn't that cool? You can also change the color of it. I kind of like it to be a little more golden tone because it'll go with the lights that are coming off this hotel. 
And I know this is a goofy way to do it, but this is the way I do it. Let's go ahead and add another blank layer down here. Click on that. And then I'm going to go up to my little eyedropper tool. Click on this. And now see my little eyedropper here? I'm going to go sample a yellow over here in the picture. And when I clicked on that, that color came up here. Now I'm going to go up to my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint. I'm not going to go away to the edge because I don't want it to get into the sky, but I'm going to go ahead and paint this. And now I'm going to go over here and click on multiply. And there's a little gold, but it's dark. So I'm going to go ahead and go way down with my opacity. You can actually try it also with normal. That looks good too. You can go up with the color. But that just adds a little bit of a gold tone. That's before and that's after, and I really like that. But that's how you make these composites, and it'll be really fun if you can keep a nice file of moonshots that you have photographed and enjoy using these in your night photos.